What's going on guys? Geosnow right here. So in today's video we're going to discuss about this YALU 103 or YALU jailbreak for iOS 10.3 IPA that is floating around on the internet lately and a lot of you have been asking me to review it and to tell you whether it's fake or not because some of you were afraid to actually use it on your device. So we're going to look at it today. As you can see I have it in here. Hopefully it's not going to kill my computer. But um, what I'm talking about? Well you can see Right now I'm going to have a lot of comments from you on the screen so that you can see a lot of people are asking me and sending me links to it and sending me links to videos because there are a lot of videos promoting the same thing just like it's being real but I'm going to see whether it's real or not. So you have at first this video in here which says new jailbreak method work on iOS 10.3 with YALU 103 jailbreak which shows the device being jailbroken with this IPA that I downloaded. You can see in here he has the uh, IPA, YALU 103, he opens it, he downloads it, he whatever. Then you have another video in here from a completely different account that has 7,293 subscribers. What the hell? Which says YALU 103 for iOS 10.3 jailbreak. Again, demos the jailbreak and shows you how to jailbreak and so on. And yeah. Also shows you that he's running iOS 10.3 and is jailbroken, has Cydia, so pretty convincing. Anyways, you can see there are quite a few videos as well in here with YALU 103. So why the hell are people promoting this YALU 103? Another one in here from the same guy or girl. And there is also a website promoting this thing and also providing the link to the IPA. To be honest, there is also a project page that you have sent me on uh, GitHub saying YALU 103 with um, an open source, but it says in here it's an incomplete iOS 10.3 beta jailbreak for 64-bit. And it says I am using Lucas Yellow code for my own use and I will not release 10.x jailbreak of my own. But then somebody did release it because if you click ahead in here, although it shows an advertisement which makes it pretty damn sketchy and hints of the fakeness of this thing, we're going to wait go ahead in here and it goes to drive.google.com and you're able to download the IPA. So I was able to download the IPA and let's see what it contains. Spoiler alert, probably it's malware. Let's see, I haven't actually opened this IPA. I decided to do, to do it now because I can no longer stand the comments from you. Okay, so let's go ahead in here. Rest assured that there is no iOS 10.3 uh, jailbreak from Look at the Desco. If you go ahead in here on yalu.qwertywoodyup.com, you can see the page, the page is not changed. The uh, la latest jailbreak from iOS for iOS 10.2 was from Look at the Desco, but there is nothing for iOS 10.3 or 10.3.1. So let's see what's inside that IPA. That makes me pretty curious, especially because a lot of people are making videos on it like it's something real. <laughs> Home Depot, okay, let's open this, okay, we have pretty much, I think it's actually Home Depot, by the looks of it, let me check out, okay, this is not part of the Home Depot, and we have in here, hmm, I think it's Home Depot, but it's not even complete, uh, you know what, I think it's time for some reverse engineering, let me go ahead in here, and uh, find my tools, which I think I put in somewhere in here. Okay, so I have opened the uh, Hopper Disassembler, and I'm going to take the executable file of this and try to drag it in here. Okay, we need to be in this area. So let's see what's going on in here. Let's open the Maco, because I'm pretty curious about whether this is the uh, official um, um, Home Depot or not. Okay. By the looks of it, it seems to be the official um, executable file. Well, I didn't actually get in depth into it, but looks like um, the the official one seems to have the official um, uh, symbols. Okay. Hmm, jump cut. So I uh, decided to download the uh, mixed tape player which is actually the uh, Home Depot jailbreak for the iOS 9.3.4, I think. And uh, I decided to compare the binaries, the hash of the binaries, but as you can see in here, the hashes don't match for these two binaries, which implies two things. Uh, one, 
the, um, the binary has been, of course, tampered with, which means it can be dangerous to try. Or two, it can be an older binary of the same Home Depot, uh, because if you go ahead on the uh, on their website in here, you can now download the uh, IPA for RC3, uh, release candidate 3, but unfortunately I'm not able to get the RC2 and RC1, which means it can be from one of the, on, on that two. But anyways, you should avoid this by, um, by the looks of it, it looks like having the uh, the method and looks like having parts of the uh, code from the Home Depot, but it doesn't look complete either on the on the um, disassembly. So no, th this is not an iOS 10.3 jailbreak. So do not go ahead and download it. Do not install that fake IPA, even though you see a lot of videos about it, and even though I think people started to promote it for some reason on Twitter as well. Try not to fall for these videos, even though they look very convincing, they show you the version, they show you the IPA, they show you Cydia running completely on an iPhone 7 and so on. Try to avoid this IPA at any cost. As I said, it's not even the uh, Home Depot, it can be something modified that can break your device or that can bring some malware to it. So uh, yeah, this is actually it guys, I really hope I made things clear now and I really hope I will stop getting questions and links in the comments about or to this Yalu 103 thing. And till the next time, I'm going to keep you updated on anything that happens, stay safe, subscribe to stay updated and peace out.